And now, the real reason why there's always such a long line at Starbucks. People wonder why we need a union at Starbucks, and I am literally about to quit. Like, I, I don't know if I'm going to do it, but like, I really want to. I almost walked out today, and I'm crying in the back room right now, and I almost cut on the floor. It's just... <laughs> I like I get I'm like a full time student. I get scheduled for 25 hours a week, and on a weekend they schedule me the entire day open to close. I'm on the schedule for eight and a half hours, Holy shit, both Saturday and Sunday. I'm like three and a half hours into my shift. There's so many customers, and we have four people on the floor all day. Well, why don't you cry about <laughs> it? Only five people were put on the schedule, and somebody had to call out. And there are four people running the whole store, and there's so many customers, and there's possibly scheduled five people. Hey, keep it in the <laughs> we only have 13 people employed at this store, and there's so many customers, and they get a good... <laughs> We don't have fair scheduling. Managers don't care about us. Our manager was supposed to come in this weekend and he took himself off the schedule so he wouldn't be able to be held accountable for calling out. He just literally tore down the schedule that he was scheduled on and put up a new schedule where he wasn't on the schedule. Also, he couldn't have even seen that he was scheduled in the first place because he didn't want to be held accountable for not wanting to come in. It's really sad that this is the new norm here in America and it just makes me sick. Starbucks didn't go to your house and ask you if you wanted to work there. This person obviously filled out an application, went through the process, got a job. And as a job, the manager, the assistant manager, who the, the shift leader, whoever had you come in, uh, Obviously, they hired you because they believed that you had the qualifications to do the specific jobs that you were hired for. Yes. And instead of taking care of the customers and the long lines that are building up out front, you're in the back filming a, a woe is me video. Yes. And I got news for you. If I was your boss, if I was the boss, I would have fired you like right there and then. I'm not here to be your friend. I'm not here to worry about your feelings and what offends you. This is a job. That's a huge bitch. They don't want to help us. We need a union because this can't happen. This can't happen. We need fair scheduling. We need managers to hold themselves accountable for helping their workers they refuse to turn mobile orders off we need the liberty to be able to do that because there's so many mobile orders and i need to get through all of them and then people are yelling at me because they don't have their orders ready and they don't know what to do <laughs> and a customer was misgendering me tonight like really badly i didn't have their order ready and so they were just like talking talking to each other and they're like she's clearly incompetent i have a full mustache and beard so you get nothing <laughs> What the fuck? You lose! I don't get accommodations for being neurodivergent. I don't... Like, I can't use... Like, I... People get mad at me for using my sick time. I don't even know what to do anymore. I'm, like, at my wits end with this job. I really am. If you can't do your job, there's always somebody else waiting outside. Somebody who's more than happy to make a paycheck. Which you should be too. I don't care who you are. There's no free handouts here in this country. We all work our asses off to make a difference. Doesn't matter what color you are, what gender, even though there's only two. Um, it doesn't matter. You are to do the job that you are hired to do. If you can't do that, bye bye We have way too much on our plate. We have open borders. We have a president who's trying to break the system so that he can turn us into a socialist country. And it's pretty ass backwards, if you ask me. I am truly a proud American, and I don't honor any of this horse shit. <laughs> I've seen too much in my lifetime to accept this as a norm this is not how you treat a country this is not how you treat each other together we stand divided we fall all for one one for all all lives matter or none do that's my story and i'm sticking to it i'm john marshall till the next time that we meet
God bless you.